Okay. So this might technically be take three because I accidentally burned the wrong, <laughs> wrong uh, operating system to the flash drive. So unlike the last time, A, my two-year-old's not going to be joining me, and B, I instead of using a oddball computer, I have my tower here with uh, window or not Windows, but with a uh, fourth generation i7. Uh, GTX 1050 Ti. I have a one terabyte hard drive sitting on the desk that's uh, attached to it through SATA. <laughs> it's a little janky looking. But I think we'll be okay. So, um, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> I'm really hoping that this turns out better than last time as far as as I hope we actually get into the operating system and it works. So we're going to go to the Kingston Data Traveler. We're going to test or install. Um, hopefully this goes better. If not, I'm still going to... Okay, this is bizarre. Watch this. It's, um, it's showing both screens. That's a bit weird. Alright, so I don't know which screen it's going to choose as a default screen. Oh, sorry, I am drinking water. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be like that. I'm going to do my best to show everything in, in uh, real time because I don't, don't want a lot of jump, jump edits and stuff like that. Even with a uh, hard drive sitting here on the desk, the system's still pretty quiet. Uh, you may hear some noise in the background. I do have my laundry going, but that shouldn't be enough to bother anybody. This should actually be a much more peaceful video than my last video on this operating system. <laughs> so I'm not going to have my two-year-old in my lap. <laughs> that will not leave things alone while I'm trying to shoot a video. A lot of people ask why I don't put out more videos. That's why. <laughs> I can't get them done. The layout of the house is not very good for quiet when it comes to a two-year-old. So, it looks like it's just mirroring between the two right now. Um, I don't see any errors. My capture card's going insane, though. I want to give this one more... Wait a minute. To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, this is different than what we, what we got last time. I'm going to do another quick thing. I'm going to try. I gotta come up with something to make these monitors level too. Wow. This monitor looks a lot brighter, I'm gonna say, on camera than it does in real life. Right now I'm stuck on a 99 code, which is a little bizarre. my cat's trying to interrupt stuff. Wait a 
the world are you doing, cat? Sorry, I had to find out what the heck my cat's doing. She went into the closet and she's... And that is locked up. Give me one more minute. Okay, so I switched which uh, USB port it was plugged into. And this time it came right up to this. Where where's my mouse at? Oh, geez, it thinks it thinks this monitor is on the left. This could be problematic. We're gonna turn off all privacy. We're not going to connect any of my accounts. Start using PureOS. And what we're going to do is we are going to install it. It looks like it uses Brave Browser, which is pretty cool. That means I don't have to install it. I'll tell you what, this uh, is running like crap right now, but it is running off USB. I am kind of in the new. Let me. Uh, Zoom you in, and uh, let's do a little quick zoom out there. There we go. I'm sorry for that part of. Jeez, I don't know if you can see the mouse. How laggy it is. Next, uh, erase disk. We're not gonna do we're not gonna encrypt it. Cause this is a disc I use for uh for trying stuff. Oh poop. This is literally like watching a slideshow, but everything else is running fine. I don't know if maybe my mouse is going bad. Sorry, don't mind me. I have like a lot of stuff here on this desk. They should match. So last time I got through the install, but uh, but then it wouldn't boot to the operating system. So I don't know how long this is going to take. It says between 15 to 30 minutes. I might pause it and just give you an idea. I mean, I just uh, do this now. I mean, we know that we I hit start a few minutes ago, and about two minutes ago, so we'll just add like a minute or two onto that. And uh, I'll let you know how long it took when I come back. I really hope that this system runs better once it's actually installed, because so far we're at... Uh, six minutes, eleven or twelve seconds, thirteen seconds, whatever. We're at six minutes, and we're at forty-four percent. So this is this is starting to get a little painful. I can only scroll through so much Facebook. <laughs> but last time, if I recall correctly, it stayed in the forties for like ten minutes, and then just boom, straight up to like ninety something, and then stood there for a little while. So we'll see what happens. And just like that, eight minutes. Yeah, pretty much eight minutes, and it says we're all done. Restart now. Crap. 
This is really inconvenient how it thinks that my left monitor is the right one. I should be able to fix that once we get in. Let me, uh, it says to remove and then press enter. I forgot that my, uh, my card reader on the front has a very flaky USB port. So, let's, uh, let's see what happens, shall we? Right now, that's the only hard drive hooked up. I have both, both of my externals disconnected, my 4 terabyte internal disconnected. Uh, as well as my solid state drive. I do have some solid state drives on order for testing purposes. I got them really cheap. And we'll see what happens there. I primarily just want to see what this oper it, uh, operating system is, how it runs. Uh, stuff like that. Ooh, see, this is much, much better than I got last time. And yet, the, uh, I don't think it's the actual mouse. Do I need to try a different mouse? No. I'm aware that uh, the fourth generation i7 is not the pinnacle of up-to-dateness, but I mean this system generally, oh see that works much better now. Display settings. So I need to fix this and then I'm going to have to zoom out and uh, to try a different mouse because this is definitely pretty weird. I did not... It just seems like there's a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of bloat in it but it shouldn't be. Start using Pure OS. So I'm going to zoom out and uh, See how things go. Alright, so now I'm on. Alright, so this says it is. Oh, it's pure browser, not brave browser. Uh, curious as to if it. Uh, rec uh, see, as soon as you go up to the top, it tries to bring up all this stuff, and then that just loads your system down. I don't know if you're seeing that. I mean, there's even a delay when you hit the number lock. Like, this is just crazy. I mean, I wish... Oh. Oh, excuse my language. Uh, let me show you what's happening here. Alright, so... Sorry to be bouncing this, the screen all around like that. So... Type... Y for YouTube. Oh. I, I promise you, I am not making that up. Because you can hear my key... I'm sure you can hear my keystrokes. Alright. 
something is really, really wrong. I didn't want to take the easy way and install a. Oh my god! And because like right now it's not even. My mouse is barely even tracking. I took out the mouse pad thinking maybe there's something wrong with the mouse pad. <sighs> I'm not sure I plan to keep playing with this. Um, settings. If my mouse will ever make it over there. I mean, this is the same mouse pad I've been using for a very long time, actually. And the same mouse. Do I have another one I can plug in? I don't have another USB one handy. Yeah, I don't think this is a good running system at all. No, we're not going to mess with that right now. Um, I wanted to go into the keyboard settings. This is worse than the uh, 486 I have sitting right here. Keyboard. We're not going to, uh, I want to see if maybe I screwed up, uh, you're finally leaving the closet, cat. Are you coming out of the closet now? Alright, this is, you know, I don't normally give up like this, but this is unbearable right now. I'm going to try to play around and see if I can find some settings that will help fix this. And if I can, I will get back to you. Alright, so I've been playing with this thing for a while, and it seems like my mouse is stuck up here. Um, I... I I, I'm, I'm at wit's end with this because any other Linux that I've installed on this or any other system, well not necessarily any other system, but that I have installed on this system just runs so nice and or at least usable, but this, this is just This is just painful. I, I I mean, I could install my Windows drive and feel better about it. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, it's pretty and all, but like right now it seems to run fine, but as soon as you try to I, as soon as you try to uh, do anything on it, let me switch. Actually, right now it's actually not seeming too bad. Alright, so. Oh, and now. And now, it, as soon as anything goes to happen on it, it runs like. It starts uh, chugging along. So I switched the monitors. Uh, my main display is the Acer here on the left. That's how when I am sitting at the desk, or sitting at the desk, uh, without 
uh, you know, without anything on, you know, without a camera behind me, I should say. That's how. So, will it actually take key input? I mean, the sluggishness is not going to be from the uh, from the OS being installed on the hard drive. Uh, instead of an SSD. Yeah, it'll boot slower. It would boot faster on an SSD, but it's not going to... This isn't... I can't... The mouse pointer is stuck right here. And that's because it's bringing up this... Uh, this nonsense right here. I don't care about that. I might try to see if I can get rid of that, because that'll help, maybe. It's like, I, I, I'm, I'm really, really frustrated here. The system has 16 gigs of uh, DDR3 memory, and it's the higher speed. I don't remember the speed off the top of my head. There is no sense to this. Um, R-O-S. I don't know if you can see that. I just type, typed in pure OS, and... And this is what I get. Um, yeah, we're. I, I'm done with this for right now. I. I wanted to give this system a sh or give this OS a shot, but uh, you know, what? I'm not even giving you. The, I'm not even fighting to get my uh, mouse pointer over there. I'm. I'm at wit's end with this. Uh, let me zoom back out. So what I'm going to do, just to show you a comparison to how this system normally runs. Like, this is not... Yeah, I, like I said before, I know that a 4th generation i7, you know, the 4790 is not the pinnacle of speed. I'm trying to work blind here without putting my face too far into the camera. Um, it's not the most up-to-date system. But I'm hooking, hooked up the, uh, this is Windows 10 SSD. I don't have any of my other hard drives hooked up, so I might get errors. Because there are things that are paths that lead to other, yeah, can't reconnect all network drives. Um, but, why am I coming up with, uh, internet might not be working. Identifying no internet. Okay, there we go. So my Steam's up and running already. Well, at least that is. And any minute now, it should be coming up with uh, that. Uh, I'm connecting to private internet access. I mean, this. I, I mean, you saw the difference, right? I mean, I'm not making this crap up. But, uh, you know, when I type in YouTube, it comes up with YouTube, not six, 60 different letter presses. Hey, new videos from Linus. <laughs> oh, and new, new game-ready drivers, because that's what the video does to me every 10 minutes. But, um, yeah, normally I have Linux Mint on this as my second hard drive at the computer. Or for my second. Second hard drive at the computer. <laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah, Windows, uh, my private internet access has an update. 
So I'm going to be installing that as well as a game ready drive, which is 553 megabytes. This is a 1050 Ti for Christ's sake, not a 2080 Ti. <laughs> So, what's the conclusion we can make here? I don't know if it's just not optimized for this system, you know, for this hardware. Uh, what I, the reason I want to bring up Windows, or bring up the OS runs crappy. Also pure OS. No, no, uh, I don't think. Alright, so that's something that's. Uh... Five lessons learned from a bad run. Oh, wait, this is something else. Uh... Pure OS runs slow. Uh, what I'm seeing here, and I haven't even clicked on it, yet is it says that uh, takes a few minutes to start but eventually gets going into the graphical interface. You can check how much time the system actually needs to start if you run this command line in the terminal. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to make... I don't really want to put this out here is that pure OS is bad and I'm saying it's bad because I'm the I'm the end all be all but yeah this is definitely that's definitely not a good running system from what I've seen What I've uh, okay. So what we're gonna do is right now we're gonna call this part two. I'm gonna try playing with it throughout the week, and hopefully next week I can come up with a better plan on it. I'm going to try to watch some tutorials. The problem that I've seen is every every uh, one that I see on every one that I see on YouTube is all like um, is all on like a virtual machine and I don't want to do that. I want to do I want to play on real hardware. Uh, we already saw that it didn't work well on a HP Thin Client, which is generally better suited to Linux use. Um, you know, it's so I'm, I'm really not sure what to say. I so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this video together, put it up, and I will get back to you guys when I get a better plan running. So. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.